All right, now that uh, we got our sample WPS done, we're going to do a sample PQR to the next step in the process to getting a um, procedure certified and get welders certified to that uh, process. So we're going to come back here at Company A. Revision zero zero because we haven't done one yet. Uh, we did SMAW. Oops, got stuff popping up here. So that's our only process. So we're gonna do the NA again because remember you don't leave anything blank so that people know that you meant to do that. Copy. Then we're gonna go to the date. buy and this is going to be some kind of welder because they um, the person that actually performs the PQR then becomes a certified welder you have to fill out WQTR form which would be the next thing that we're gonna uh, shoot a video of but we're just gonna go welder A authorized by like we did in the first video just some kind of boss date again. The, uh, the reference WPS is going to be the one that um, we already did so it should, it should just pop up here as sample WPS right there. Base metal specifications it was A36 to A36 there's no type or grade, so we're going to NA that. The process is manual. So let's get rid of all of them. Thickness of the groove is 0.375 inches. So 3 eighths. We're not doing a fillet, so we'll NA those. We're not doing pipes, so we'll NA those. Filler, uh, filler metal uh, AWS specifications is A5.9 It's the only one we're doing because we're doing the same electrode all the way out. The classification is ER7018 So that's electrode rod 70 is 70,000 pounds minimal tensile strength one is an all position rod and then eight is your electrical characteristics in the coating which is a rutile based coating this is uh... the flux for the shielding portion is for if you're doing submerged arc we're not using any gas so there's no compositions or flow rates or any of that joint or position so we're going to go with a butt joint because we're that's what we're doing single weld we use backing so we're gonna go backing material we're gonna keep it the same A36 this is low carbon steel a root opening if you remember correctly it was one quarter of an inch root face dimension we're not gonna have any groove angle 60 degrees included Back gouging, no. Paste. And then we're going 3G. Fill it. We're not doing any. We're going vertical up. You have to go vertical up with 7018 because the flux will roll in front of the weld, so there's no choice there. When you do your little print here again, I'm trying I'm gonna try to make this better than the first one I did. I didn't even think about it, but I went to the full screen. So we're gonna go to edit, zoom out there. You go up to the top, go to weld draw, then you wanna go to your joint. That's the first thing you're gonna do. Click on advanced and it goes to blue. We wanna come up here and make the blue black. So that when we print it, you can actually see it if you don't have a color printer. Stuff popping up everywhere.
So our thickness is not half an inch, it's um, 3.75 or 3.8. Our root opening, again, is 0.25. Our root face is going to be 0. There's your angle. Uh, we want to draw with the backing. Everything looks good. Hit OK. It's going to drop it down here, and I always stretch it out. Then you can move it, get it centered, whatever you want to do. Go back to your weld draw, go to your weld symbol. Again, the color. Let's go to black so you can actually see this thing. Hit OK. Hit OK there. Drop it down. There's your welding symbol. There's your little print. Go up here, X out, and it's going to ask you to transfer, and you're going to hit yes. So there's your little print. Now let's go to your techniques and electrical here. We're not doing MIG, so get rid of all the short circuit globular spray. Pulsed, direct current electrode negative, that's for tag. Your direct current electrode positive. Paste. Tungsten, we are going to NA all that because we're not doing tag. The preheat minimum temperature, like I said before, you want it about room temperature, so 70. Interpass minimum temperature, 70, in case you're working in Alaska or outside or something. Max, 200 degrees, and that's all Fahrenheit. Stringer or weave, I put in both for this most of the time, just unless I really want it to be a stringer, just because I like to give the welder some flexibility. It's going to be a multiple pass. You're not going to be able to fill that up with uh, um, 17018. Contact tip, there is no contact tip to work distance. That's what CTWD means. Electrode spacing, this is for if you have uh, multiple wires coming in for a sub arc and all the angle stuff. Interpass cleaning, wire, wheel, and I always grind if you need to. And then your post weld, we're not doing any of that. So our procedure here. One process. SMAW. Filler metal classification, that's again ER 7018. Filler metal diameter. One eighth of an inch is a very common one, so that's what we're going to use. Current type, direct current electrode positive. Amps. Now you had a range in this in your WPS, and this you need to have exactly what it is. And I just ran one of these, and I ran it at 115. And I always put amps because, or an A or something, because it's amps slash wire feed speed. You could think that was 115 inches a minute if you didn't know that it was an amperage and think you were doing meg. So voltage. I'm just saying not available. Or not applicable, my bad. Travel speed. We timed this out. We were doing six inches per minute. So you gotta have somebody time you, measure out what you're doing, figure that out. What you can do is just weld, and then have somebody timing you, and have them at when a minute comes up, say time, and then you know how far you went. Or you can calculate it, whatever you want to do. Tinsel tests, we're not going to, most likely we're not going to have to do tinsel tests. Depending on what code you're going with, we're going with D1.1, and that's going to call for get, or guided bend tests. So that's this stuff down here. And we're in the theory land, so we're just going to assume that they were all good. Type of bend, you're going to have two roots. 
bottom of the weld and then you're going to have two face bends two roots, two faces, and then you look at the bends and depending on how much it cracks, it is either acceptable or not. So you just put acceptable down for them all because we're going to assume they're all good. Remarks. Back to our NAs here. And that would be a remark. A remark could be something like uh, corner crack. If you wanted to put in some actual dimensions, let's say you had um, a crack that was a sixteenth of an inch and you, could, you just felt the need to put a sixteenth of an inch crack. Or you can put pretty much anything there, but um, appearance, acceptable, because you're going to do a visual inspection before you do any kind of bending. If you don't pass the visual, there's no point in doing a bend, right? Undercut, none. Piping porosity, obviously that doesn't affect us. Convexity, there should be... Somewhere around a sixteenth of an inch convexity. Test date, that's just asking the date. Witness by, now you're going to put a CWI in. So, CWI is a certified welding inspector. So, I'll just put my name in there. Tinsel strike um, stuff, we're not doing any of that. Uh, radiographic and ultrasonic examination. So, that's. Um, X-rays or ultrasound, they send sound waves down through. We're not doing any of that. We didn't do a fillet weld, so we're not doing any of this. General, this is going to be... Um, Welder's name, we did welder A, clock number, one, two, three, four, this is all imaginary, stamp number, one, two, three, four, this is uh, how they identify the welder, a lot of people have clock numbers or stamp numbers, test conducted by, this is going to be your CWI, so that would be myself. Test number one. Use. Uh, wants to know the, D, the year of the D1.1 code book that you used. I, the one I just looked in was a 2004. They don't change a huge amount, but they do change. Company A. By, this is going to be typically somebody over your first one, so a, I don't know, a higher boss than the boss that you listed on the first page. Title, it could be the president, if it's a small company, or it could be some kind of foreman something and then there's your date so there you have it everything's filled out there's your PQR now we'll save this all right now we'll save this always go to save as and it's going to be sample PQR hit OK 
And just like the first video of the WPS that I did, I will print it out and then I'll video the sheets. I think there's three for a PQR, so we'll, vi we'll I'll print that out and then I'll, I'll show you those. So this is the first page of the three pages of your PQR. Second page of the PQR. And your last page is your little print. The welding symbol you can barely see for some reason. I don't know if it was the printer or the program. And that's it. We're done with the PQR.